All righty. So we have a construction update for you guys today. We're going to cover front gate a lot. So as you're going to see right there, you're going to see a lot of electrical equipment um, and the spoodles of electrical um, wiring right at the main front gate building where you could get your tickets before. Again, more signs that there is a lot of work going on inside that building. Um, we don't know what yet, but there's a lot of work going on inside there. Over here, we have the merch shop slash new exit in quotations um, being worked on as well, um, starting to come together. And over at Front Gate, they're just finishing off those timber kits buildings and getting the brickwork laid down. So they've done that whole section now, and they're just spreading that sand in between the grooves um, to help make it you know, more weatherproof. Over at our 2025 coaster, um, they are digging out around that tunnel, so that service road, that old service road. They're digging out around it. Um, it took them a really long time. So, again, because of Craig is helping out the channel, we're able to fly at all parts of the day. So we're documenting what they can get done in a day and figuring out the best time to fly and get that best kind of shot. Um, so we're not going to miss anything. Don't worry. We have two people on, uh, <laughs> on ready to command with the drone. Um, so right here, they're just digging out around the tunnel. Um, nothing significant happened today over here. It, again, it take a really long time because they dig up like a couple of, you know, of those little spoonfuls of uh, with the excavator and put it in that tiny little dump truck and then wait for it to go and then come back. Uh, maintenance was training on their little scissor lift. So that was funny to catch at first. I was like, what are they doing? And then I clued in. There's a, a group of them gathered. So they're probably doing their little training. Um, so that was cool to catch. Um, outside of that, not much going on yet in terms of prep for season opener. Again, I have heard that maintenance is actually ahead of schedule. So huge kudos to them um, in terms of getting all the rides ready. Again, this is probably the earliest I've seen like a train ready on Leviathan, a train ready on Behemoth, and um, all these other rides coming together. Tundra Twister, which you'll see in this video, was also receiving its maintenance today as well. So that was really cool to capture. Here they're removing the fence and the curb. So getting ready to, of course, dig this thing out. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how they do this, how they choose to remove this maintenance tunnel or expand it. Um, because, again, it is even with the, what they've cut out there, like you can see the outline, way too small for a wing coaster, way too small for a wing coaster. But again, it is too early to make that call. Um, to be honest, right now, it's too small for four cross seating um, with leg clearance, arm clearance and all that. This is looking like a two-seater so far. So again, can't make the call because it is way too soon. They can obviously widen this all they want. Um, but yeah, it's quite interesting. Um, with that being said, um, that's essentially all they do in the 2025 coaster um, plot of land today. Extreme Sky Flyer should be coming down either Friday, or Monday, or Tuesday. Um, that's my prediction. That's not what I'm hearing through the rumor mill, but... Um, they got the land ready for a point. Um, the fence uh, will come down at around 4.35 p.m. And yeah, then it's a lot more prep. So hopefully when we fly today, we see a little more action in this area. I am kind of surprised that it's just a tiny little excavator doing this. Um, I'm really curious to see what they've done in the mountain. Um, really curious because I, I would love to see it. Because I know that sometimes, you know, I could just imagine if all the footing work is done inside the mountain already. Um, and now they're coming out here. But that's it for essentially the 2025 Ghoster for yesterday. Over here is Tundra Twister receiving its maintenance. So you can see them removing, you know, the seat backs and then working on the ride. Um, and, yeah, that's pretty much it. I was wondering why they didn't wrap it in tarp over the winter. It was, like, one of the only rides I'd seen not wrapped in tarp, especially for a new ride. Um, but, yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I'm missing. Ah, yes. The surveying truck was parked over by flight deck. I could not see where they were. Um, but again, there's a lot of control points going in around Kingswood. Um, so I was trying to figure out where this surveying guy was. I could not see him. If you guys can see him on the screen, comment down below. But I have no luck finding him um, flying. I had about five minutes of footage looking for this guy. Um, but I could not see him anywhere. So let me know. Um, for all I know, he could be around the um, Skyflyer Puddle Land 2. And he just wanted to park away. Um, just getting those control points in before construction begins. But yeah, let me know. Anyways, that's it for construction update today. Um, so this is obviously, remember, these updates are always one day behind. Um, so yeah, 
Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing, what is it, today, Thursday. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you have an amazing weekend coming up. Stay tuned for tomorrow's update. Bye, guys.